And now I played Rook C8. Uh, Ripka thinks Knight C3 is a better move. And he thinks that uh, Black is a touch better. Queen D4, Rook C8. Okay, yeah, Queen takes C5, Rook takes C5. Black is Black has a small advantage. It's not a slight advantage yet. It's just a uh, small, um, small advantage due to his better piece placement. In the game, I played Rook C8, Knight F D4, and now I played Knight C3. And actually, I think I only just noticed then that this was a very nice square for my knight. And because it's uh, protected several times by my other pawns, and plus white can never attack this knight with a pawn because all these pawns are too far advanced. And now my opponent played knight takes c3, which was a mistake. Uh, he should have played uh, something like queen f4 or queen b7. Let's take a look at queen f4. Knight takes b5. Knight takes b5, knight d5. And here after queen d2, queen c2. Yeah, black does have a slight advantage here because of his masterful control of the c file. But yeah, this is. I think this was better than what um, he played in the game. Here, my opponent played knight takes c3, and now after b takes c3, Ripka believes black now has a clear advantage uh, about uh, about one pawn advantage. Even though black's not literally up one pawn, uh, Ripka thinks that black's positional advantage here is worth one pawn. So uh, my opponent plays h3. Just giving extra room for his king if he needs it. It's always good to play a move like h3 if uh, you can't find any other constructive plan, because h3 is normally it will normally be useful. Although uh, don't play if your opponent might be going for a, an attack on that side of the board. For example, if I had a kingside attack, this h3 would actually be a weakness, even though it might not immediately seem to be a weakness. Um, in the long run, it generally will be a weakness if I'm attacking on that side of the board. Okay, so here I played knight d5. Um, Ripka thinks queen b4 is a slightly better move. And it's giving black a winning advantage, actually. So the uh, point is, um, black wants to put this knight into a cross pin by playing rook d8. The cross pin on the queen. And after a move like queen d3, let's see, rook d8. Rook e4, and now um, black has the move queen takes b3, which exploits the pin on the queen. If instead of queen d3, uh, how about something like f3? Rook d8, and now um, knight e2, queen takes b3, and this is also winning for black. So uh, instead of queen b4, in the game, I played knight d5, and this is move 27. Now my opponent played rook c1, and here I played queen b4. Uh, Ripka thinks that knight b4 is better, just a better placement of pieces with a uh, clear advantage to black. So queen b4, and now my opponent plays queen d3, which is actually a big mistake. He should just play something like g3. Uh, this is Ripka's main move, and uh, wait for black to show any uh, sort of winning plan, because black hasn't shown anything so far. Okay, so here after queen d3, how, how do you think black can win here? In fact, there's more than one way to win, but there is a clear win here. Um, black can play knight f4, with the idea that um, a move such as queen e3 will be met by queen takes d4. And after queen takes d4, knight e2 check, uh, black ends up a piece up after uh, taking the queen. So that was a clear win. In fact, I missed this and I played queen a3. I think we're both quite low on time here. Uh, probably like less than less than 40 seconds, something like that. Maybe less than 30. Um, 
And now my opponent played rook c2. Queen d1 was a better move, but um, knight b4 is winning for black anyway. He will break through sooner or later. And probably either his pawn will um, gain him a decisive advantage, so that white must sacrifice one of his pieces for the pawn, or uh, maybe one of his queenside pawns will drop, and hence the other one will drop as well. So black is winning here, I'm pretty sure of that. Ribka is giving a 1.8, or actually a 2 pawn advantage for black. But in the game, my opponent played uh, rook c2 on move 30, and this just falls into the fork knight b4. I think he fell into this because he was so low on time, I and mean, he was playing too fast. Nevertheless, he was losing anyway. Uh, knight b4, knight b5 check, and after queen a1 check, my opponent resigned. And because um, the only way to avoid losing the queen would be to go back, because otherwise I would take the queen. Uh, and now it just takes, takes, knight takes c2, and black is up a rook. So, uh, thanks for watching this video.